Alright, in the previous lecture I showed you the syntax of a function definition and the syntax of how to call a function. So this is the basic representation of a function. But there are some more things that you can add to a function. So that's what you're going to learn in this lecture. And I'll make this simple, I'll delete this. And here we are. And so, here we have only one parameter. So this is called a function parameter. However, you can have more than one parameter for a function. Uh, let's say seconds. Mm, so in this case, uh, I allow the user to enter both minutes and seconds. And then the program will calculate the hours based on that. So basically we want to add seconds here, seconds divided by 3600. So yeah, I hope I'm fine with the math here. So minutes divided by 60 give you hours and then seconds by, divided by the number of seconds in one hour gives you the hours. And yeah, we add them up and we return hours. Therefore, let me delete this 10 here. Mm, in this case, when you call that kind of function with two parameters, you'd want to pass two values, 60, let's say, and 300 for seconds. Save. Execute, and you get 1.25. And that's how you can add multiple parameters to your function and uh, multiple values. Now, if you don't pass a value there, one of the va one for one of the parameters, and you execute, uh, you will get a type error. This is saying type error minutes to hours is missing one required positional argument, which is seconds. So you are not allowed to miss a value for a posi positional argument. So seconds is a positional argument which you need to pass in the function call. Um, so these are referred to as arguments when you use them here, when you're talking about function call, and uh, they are referred to as parameters when you pass them in the function definition. So parameters, and when you're talking about function call, you refer to them as arguments, and this is the value of the argument. And so positional arguments need to have a value passed in here. But default arguments don't need a value, and a default argument is when you use something like that. 70, and let's pass 300 in here. Execute. So syntax error non-default argument follows default argument. And the non-default argument here is this one. So positional arguments, such as seconds, are also referred to as non-default arguments. And so the non-default argument second follows the default argument. And that gives you a syntax error in Python, because Python will get confused when you pass this 300 here. So it doesn't know whether you pass it for this one or, or for this one here. Mm, therefore, you need to pass the default argument after the non-default argument. So seconds and minutes. Now, if you save the script and go here, this time you'll get a correct output. So 1.25. So let me summarize again what happened here. Uh, we have a non-default argument and a default argument, which has a default value. Therefore, when you call the function and you pass only one value, Python knows that you, you're passing that value for the non-default argument. And for the default argument, Python will use the value of 70. However, if you pass another value there, uh, let's say 200 minutes, save the script, execute, you'll get another output. Because Python this time used the value of 200 for minutes instead of its default value. So when you don't pass a value, Python uses the default value. When you pass it, Python uses what you passed in the function call. So this is useful when you create functions where some of the arguments will have a value that is not very likely to change very often. Something else about functions before I close this lecture. Um, you don't always need a return keyword in here. 
uh, you can also do let's say print hours and then you don't need a print statement there you just do that execute and you get the same output however note that you know if you do plus 10 now and you execute you get an error uh, because it says non type and int so um, unsupported operand type for not type and integer which means the non type is this one here so this is not a number and you can see that by doing print so print the type of that function of that output and you'll see that this is a non-type um, so the function doesn't produce a number when you use print so bottom line is when it comes to what the function does uh, you have two types of functions you have a function that generates an output and you have functions that perform some procedure so this was an example of a function that performs some procedures in this case what this function did was it uh, calculated hours and it printed hours it didn't return an output and other cases might be like you know when you create a file so you process some files you create a text file you write some output in that text file and you don't need a return keyword in that case but we will see that later when we cover uh, file handling in python most of the time though you will have to return a value here so that's the idea this is about this lecture and i'll talk to you later